Hello everyone, my name is Mary. My friends know me as Popsicle. Today I am going to be cash stuffing Fourteen, eighty-seven, and this is how I broke it down. We are going to be starting out with my black binder. This has my high priority and low priority sinking funds. First is Amazon, which will be getting five dollars. Oh, sorry, not five, 15. Continuing education, we'll be getting $5. This is for any continuing education units that I need to pay for in order to keep my RN license active RN license renewal is getting five dollars liability insurance is getting five dollars this is for my RN liability in case I ever have to go to court someday which I do not plan on car registration is getting forty dollars Car insurance is getting $200. All of my envelopes are empty. I recently had to empty them out because we took a Disneyland trip. And my husband recently started a new job also. So we were able to afford to do that, thankfully. And this whole check actually is his full-time paycheck. Car maintenance is getting 25. So we are starting out fresh on basically most of the envelopes. Trash is getting $65. Water is also getting 65. Yeah. 
Lon will be getting $100. Pets is getting 40. We need to get our cat fixed, so I'm setting money aside for that. We'll probably initially just use our care credit card and then pay it off. Right now, there's a zero balance on that care credit card. Birthday, we'll be getting $40. Each of these icons is worth $5, so I will fill out eight of these. 5, 10, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40. Let's see, what color should I use? I'm left-handed, so I'm going to color from the right. And I'll just color the icing on the cake. Hopefully this video is not a million years long. I My goal is to stuff each envelope in the binders. Here we go, birthday fund. Next is gifts, which we'll be getting $20. Dining out, which we'll be getting 30. Nails is getting $30. I am going to be getting my nails done this weekend. My nails are three weeks old. They are Disney nails. Um, we, we did go to Disneyland three weekends ago. So I do not want to take these nails off because I had so much fun and I want to keep the memory, but it is time to redo my nails. Medical is getting 40 and each of these icons is worth $40. So I'll color one in. And I think I will just do the square in the middle. Let's do brown. because my skin tone is brown. Um, they make colored, um, like skin tone, more um, like variety range of skin tone for band-aids now. So that's pretty cool. Next is dental, which will be getting $5. I recently got dental work. Um, we do have a flexible spending card from my work where we just use the funds in that card first. And if we ever go over, then I'll have money in this envelope to help us with that. Vision is also getting five. And miscellaneous is getting 50. That's it for my black binder. It feels so good to be putting money back in to these binders. All right. Next, holiday sinking funds. And I did unfortunately have to take money out of all of my holidays, except I saved the ones at the end of 
the year since the end of the year is coming up. So first envelope is Khmer New Year, also known as Cambodian New Year, and that will be getting $50. Back to school is getting $15. Oh, and I do still need to get my daughter some clothes. I thought I had everything, but she is growing so fast. Okay, so let me do... It, each icon is worth 15 so let me do some books in a variety of colors. Let's do green books. There we go, 15 and back to school. Next is Halloween. And the coloring for this one is gonna be off. Um, I just didn't reprint a new one. Maybe I will later. Halloween is getting $5. Thanksgiving is getting $15. And that's actually all it has currently, so the coloring on this is incorrect also. Black Friday is getting 25 Each icon is worth 25, so I will color one icon in. Let's see, what color should I do for shopping bags? Let's do this beige color. Looks like a brown paper bag, or the usual brown that it comes in. Okay. Christmas. Oh, maybe I did empty everything. Yep, I did. So we're starting completely over. Christmas will be getting $20. Each icon is worth $20. So we'll color in one tree. New Year's is going to be getting $50. My birthday is on New Year's Day, so some of this money goes towards something for my birthday also. Let's do an orange mimosa. Valentine's is getting five dollars. Each icon is worth five. Let's do a big red heart. St. Patrick's Day is getting two dollars. And each icon is worth $2. So we'll color in one four-leaf clover. Easter is worth $2, and that's what it's getting. So Easter is not worth $2. Easter is getting $2, and each icon is worth $2. That's what I meant to say. We'll do an orange Easter egg. Hmm. 
Mother's Day is getting $20. So we'll color in one icon for this. Father's Day is getting 24. And each icon is worth 24. Dad gets a gold medal. Well, a purple medal. 4th of July, we'll be getting 25. And we'll color in one flag for that. Sorry, my stripes are not very pretty. And that's it for the holiday binder. Oh, I want to go back to this back to school envelope. My daughter also got um, accepted into a dance academy with a scholarship. So I did recently have to pay for leotards, ballet shoes, tights, um, tap shoes, jazz shoes. So I just spent some money on that as well. I'm very excited. She had her first class yesterday and all the kiddos were just so cute. Okay, next binder is my family binder and some short-term savings binders or envelopes. Coffee will be getting... $60. This is mainly for my husband. He is a coffee connoisseur. Kids, which is my daughter, will be getting $47. And how I came up with that number is after I chose what was going to go into each envelope this is what was remaining parents for my mom and dad just because we do drop my daughter off every day that my husband has to go to work um, and they will be getting 25 dollars and i think every time it reaches like 50 or 100 dollars i'll give it to them Family, which includes my brother, who may have to sometimes take my daughter to her dance class for when both my husband and I are working. Um, this envelope is getting $25. And again, maybe when it reaches either 50 or 100, that's when I'll give him the money. So far, he hasn't had to take her anywhere. Nephews each get five dollars. I have three nephews. All of these envelopes are depleted and I did buy things for them when we went to Disneyland. It was a family trip. Vacation actually has money in it because I had money left over. So vacation is going to be getting $50 and we had $200 left so there should be 250 in here 50 70 90 110 130 150 170 190 210 230 250 250 and each icon is worth a hundred so I won't color one in just yet Save the bill. I even had to start over on my save the bill, which made me very sad, but that's okay. 
At least we got to enjoy the money. Save the bill is getting $5. So let me mark that off and then grab my five. I was gifted this from Budget with Lena. Um, it is from Un Petit Budget. Next is my Hello Kitty challenge, which will be getting $10. And I'll mark off this 10. And that is it for this binder. Next is my more long-term savings. Let me just flip my page. Most of these will be getting either five or $10. Okay, first is investing, which will be getting $5. Roth IRA, $5. Taxes, $5. Technology, $10. Car, Ten dollars. Books, five dollars. I'm not currently reading a book right now, but I have a few on standby. Um, two that I can think of right now are The Seven Husbands of Evelyn Hugo, and the next one is The Haunting of Ashburn House. I don't know which one I want to start first. I kind of want to do The Seven Husbands of Elizabeth Hugo before summer is over. And then when spooky season comes around, read The Haunting of Ashburn, ha Ashburn House. Student Loans gets $10. Emergency gets 10 there's currently a thousand in the bank in my um, regular savings account. So it now has $1,010. I do have additional money in a high yield saving that I don't really keep track of in my binders. I mean, I do, I keep track of it with these trackers here, but, um, I don't really have an envelope for it. Spending is going to be getting $5. Savings will be getting $10. And currently has a thousand in my savings account. Oh, sorry, emergency is not in my savings account. It's in my high yield savings account. Savings is in my regular savings account and it is getting $10. So $1,010 in this savings account as well. All the other money that goes into my high yield savings account is my daughter's money. Um, anything that's in her kid's envelope, I will transfer over either every six months or yearly. I've been doing it every six months and um, I keep track of it on here. I also have a house fund that I'm keeping track of in my high yield savings account as well. So I owe myself $400. So I just have to 
check these off because I had to take some money out to pay off a credit card and I started over so I'm checking off this one and this one and then I'll be caught up with what I had in there before but I need to calculate that off camera it's a little complicated um, I don't know how to use buckets in Capital One I know everyone here that uses Capital One says they have buckets but every time I try to go online either on the computer site or on the app I cannot figure out how to do it so I'm keeping track of it the hard way. All right, next we are moving on to this green binder here. This is my future home binder. We are going to be finding only a few envelopes in this binder. First one is the deposit fund, which we'll be getting $5. Each icon's worth five. Then we are moving on to the moving expenses, which is also getting five. Next is Furniture Fund, which is getting five. Hmm, what color should my couch be? Let's make it a green couch. Too bad I don't have like a dark hunter green. like the color of my binder. Green is my favorite color, but I tend to like darker colors. Next, we're moving on to Decor Fund. This one is getting $20. And we'll just color in the water. That's it for this binder. Now we're going to move on to my Hello Kitty binder. This is my one, five, 10, and $20 savings. Okay. I don't believe I took any money out of these. So one dollar and it now has one, two, three, four dollars. Oops, maybe I should have got the bigger black marker. That's okay. Four dollars in there. Next is my $5. So it has five, 10, 15, 20. $10, 20, 30, 
And this last one is a random one. So I'm going to put $10 into this one. Currently has nothing. This is my first time stuffing this one. And this will save me $40. And that's it for this binder. And lastly, we will be doing my Hello Kitty 30 envelope challenge, which will be getting $16. Ten, fifteen, sixteen. And I have money left over because I just realized that I forgot to run and get my wallet. So let me do that after I put this money away. And after we choose our envelope for next time. $16 will go in the back. I did not empty these out either. Okay, 16 is done. And let's choose one. $18 for next time. Okay, I've got my wallet. This is actually a new wallet that I ordered from Trains Plans. It is the A6 personal um, wallet size. So home is going to be getting $5. Medical is going to be getting $10. I have a medical envelope in my high priority binder, but this one is just for any immediate medical co-pays that I have. And the other one is for more like emergency medical. Personal is getting five. Eating out is getting 10. And the same thing for this eating out binder. I have a dining out binder in my high priority, low priority sinking fund binder, but this is more for like everyday lunches if I wanna get lunch at um, work. And then lastly is shopping, which will be getting my last $5 bill. And we'll go to the back here because I know I have coins. Oh, this is shopping money from Disneyland, so I can probably move it somewhere or maybe save it for my nails, my nail appointment that's coming up. All right, coins. Quite a bit of coins collected from Disneyland. I usually don't have this many, but yes, it's going to be, it's going to feel so good to have it emptied out of my wallet. I also just keep two months of my planner back here. New month, new goals, new opportunities. And the one in the front says, in my money, sa money saving era. So I have August and September. Okay, and that should complete my cash stuffing video for today. I will separate these coins by quarter um, and then everything else separated. 
I do like to keep my quarters in a little coin pouch in my purse because I work where there's metered parking. And if someone is short a quarter or two, I always have some available. And these I will save for my daughter to put into her little castle piggy bank that she got from great grandma for one of her birthdays. So thank you so much for watching. Um, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe, and I will see you in my next video.